Hey, 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 it's Evelyn and I am back with another video. And today I wanted to go do a little throwback to the kind of videos I used to do where I used to do a lot more like talking head videos. And to be honest, like this video is gonna be random. Like, okay, let me know if you're a creator, but <laughs> how many of my creators y'all get this instinct? It's like, if you're already dressed and your hair is already done, and your makeup's already on and it's like still light outside and quiet you're like i should film a video like that's how i was feeling today so i went to brunch with um some of my sorority sisters because i don't know if y'all know this but i'm in a sorority i just haven't been active for some time i'm in the process of reactivating and so i went to go meet some of the um sores from the chapter that i'm going to be reactivating with i like i knew one of the ladies there and then um she was introducing me to some other people so anyway um i'm home from that and i was like i want to film a video but anyway i wanted to do this video because maybe about a week or two ago i did a live stream on my instagram where i was talking about how i kind of took what i'm calling a soft sabbatical and what started out as I just thought I was burnt out in my business. Like I love my business. I love the work that I do. I love being an entrepreneur, but things that you enjoy, you still can burn out from and need a break from. And so probably this time last year, around August, September of 2022, I had really kind of hit a brick wall where um, I just was like, I just, I just don't have it. Like I was like, I just don't have it to give, you know, the only energy that I have, I'm, I'm just going to be able to give to my clients. Like I wasn't doing any marketing. I wasn't doing anything right, which is like so essential to your business. But I y'all, when I tell you, I just didn't have, I didn't have it. And like, I would try to muster up like the energy to do more. And I had all these ideas and I just didn't have it. And so, you know, I thought that that was going to maybe be for 90 days, right? So I was like, I'm just going to take a 90 day break, maybe at best to the end of the year. And it has lasted well over a year it's been a, it's been about a year now um and so I was just being really reflective about it prayerful about it you know um you know journaling about it things like that just trying to figure out like what is this is it that I don't like my business anymore am I burnt out what is it and I realized that I had made the fatal mistake which is I had made work central to my life and even though I had all these other amazing things going on work was always at the forefront and so um I went on this journey of like what would life look like if I deprioritized work if I decentralized work from my life meaning you know if it wasn't the thing that went on at the top of my to-do list now and I and I will say this I can't speak to those of you who work for a company or organization because um that is not the life that I live anymore but I'm talking specifically to those of you who have your own business and maybe you have some flexibility around how much and when and how often you work right I, if you do work a more traditional uh job you may find some nuggets here but I just, I'm just sharing my experience from an entrepreneurship standpoint so I went into this what's the least I can do <laughs> to stay in business like how how low can I go on the amount of effort that I um, output and still maintain revenue and clients and things like that? And I don't I don't know if I knew that that's what I was doing at the time, but that's what it went into. And so I even started like planning my weeks differently. You know, I have a typical um, paper planner. Like I have a I use my digital calendar for all my appointments and things like that because. Baby, if it's not on the calendar, <laughs> I like, I, I forget. So, but as far as like my to-do list, I kind of keep a running to-do list in my planner for the week, right? And then that way I can go back for that week or previous weeks, you know, A, to see what I need to con still do, but also I can cross off things that I previously or reminds me of things. Anyway, and so um, I even started planning my week differently that I started planning in play and pleasure and relationships and recreation and relaxation and then I put in my work as far as into the schedule and I would tell you it it has been challenging to say the least to maintain that and what I mean by maintain that is not that like actually my business is doing great like it, I'm having a great year um 
in my business surprisingly that I'm doing less but that listen that actually that doesn't surprise me because when I think about the whole femininity masculinity thing like anyway that this is not that video I told y'all I don't make femininity videos I'm not a femininity coach but understanding how the feminine works and how the masculine works I'm actually not surprised that I'm working less and making more but anyway um so I don't mean hard to maintain as far as like my business and growth and things like that. I'm talking about as far as my mindset and the urge to want to make work the priority or even make work take up most of my waking hours or for work to be the first thing that goes on to my to-do list, right? Or the first thing that I tackle during the week. And so I, I'm really challenging myself for the rest of this year to really kind of create a new normal right i can't i don't want to necessarily be at a place where i'm doing the bare minimum like i have been for the past year there's some things that i want to do that are going to require some effort and i also want to maintain this kind of work is on the list but it's not the priority it is something that still needs to get done it is a part of my life it is not central to my life it is not a focus in my life when i think about all the different areas of life, whether it's your profession, whether it's your relationship with your friends, your family, if you have a significant other, your relationship with yourself, physical well-being, mental and emotional well-being, spiritual well-being, leisure, travel, hobbies, interests, play, recreation, like just regular house stuff, keeping up with your maintenance and your beauty and all these different things. There's no way to have harmony notice i didn't say balance there's no way to have harmony with one of those things taking up um a large portion and so i i i I remember realizing that was it that i was burnt out or was it that things were not in a proportion that worked great for me and i will say what i've come to realize is that things were not in a great proportion for me and so I am still working to maintain that. I mean, obviously, the reason why I say don't say balance is because there are some days where it's like, no, this work has to get done today. And that is the focus of the day. But that can't be that way four out of five days every single week, right? It can't be I'll get to the other things outside of my working time, right? That sometimes... um or or I want the new normal to be that I take care of me and the things that are most important to me in my life first and foremost and then work is something that needs to get done needs to get done well and it's also not the focal not the the main thing so I really want to just kind of I just wanted to share my experience and wanted to see you know if you are someone who has your own business have you thought about You know, if you've been feeling burnt out, if you've been feeling like you want to burn that thing to the ground, okay, because I'm not even going to hold you. I've (laughs) I've had those moments where I've wanted to burn my business to the ground. Yeah, I absolutely, I wanted to set that joker on fire. I wanted to just shut it down and it be no more. And I was just kind of like, okay, calm that down. (laughs) That's not what it is. And I kept thinking, oh, I just need a break. Oh, I just need... um, a vacation and I realized that I needed a new way of being in my life so I challenge you like is there an area of your life that yes needs to be done it's not something that can be ignored but it needs to be deprioritized needs to be decentralized and you know you hear a lot of conversation about like decentralizing um romantic relationships I listen it, I I people relationships of every kind a relationship with myself a relationship with a significant other a relationship relationships with my friends relationship with my family's family is is going to be something that is going to be the center uh, is going to be front and center in my life right like people for me is a category that I do not want to slide into a category of I can get to it when I'm done with X. It's like, I I definitely want my relationships with people um, in varying capacities to be a significant portion of my life, right? So, um, and there's there's other things that I want to be front and center and I just don't want it to be work yet. um, While I'm not 
you're big into zodiac signs, I do have big Capricorn energy. And if you know anything about Capricorns, like we gonna make that money. Uh, we gonna get it done. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like balancing the urge to be incredibly ambitious, which I feel like is my nature, right? Uh, with also the desire to not be all work and no play or all work and little play, right? And and because I was doing all of the self-care things, right? So like my self-care was in place. It was literally like the play, the pleasure, the recreation, the leisure that was taking a back seat. And so that's the other thing about, you know, like being on it, like a healing journey or healing is a, healing is a lifestyle. You can be doing therapy and personal growth and development and mindset work and working on your physical well-being. And you can be working on your mental, emotional well-being. And you can work on your spiritual well-being. And you can be doing all the self-care in the world. And then you realize like, Something is still missing. Like, I, I'm so passionate about that, particularly for black women. And I, I had to embrace this concept that I have given my clients that was given to me when I was actually still in corporate America, that at the time, I just, I could not wrap my mind around it. I could not conceive it. I It just felt so wrong and blasphemous to me when I when I got this advice and the advice was like you're gonna have to be like a b minus student yeah and I remember getting that advice about like on my corporate job like you if you want to have harmony in your life and work not be the focus you're going to have to be a b minus student and I remember thinking like what kind of idiotic advice is that I'm that's ridiculous and I can't get ahead working like that but the context in which it was told me was that particularly with black women um which i know that the majority of you watching my channel are black women is that our b minus is usually an a plus and our a plus work is like somewhere in another galaxy and um realizing that i don't have to give things my all you know this is like i gave it my all that's how you build resentment you should never give your all you should give what you can sustain. And um, I remember my mom was actually one of the people who gave me the advice to do B minus work. And I just was like, I, oh, what are you saying to me? I can't be mediocre. I won't get promoted X, Y, and Z. And, um, but I reached a point where that, that was the choice that I had. And like, nobody noticed, right? Like I was killing myself trying to do A plus work. And when I slid all the way down to B minus work, nobody noticed. Actually, life got a lot better. But then I went into entrepreneurship and I thought, well, this is all on me. Like I'm 100% completely responsible. I've definitely got to do A plus work 100% of the time. And that's unrealistic. As, as a former engineer, I understand that even machines don't run at 100% efficiency ever. And they for sure don't do it consistently, right? Like that's the quickest way to... Um, to have a machine malfunction is to try to get it to run at a hundred percent capacity all the time and so this past year i probably was doing like c plus work not even b minus and my revenue went up which is insane and so um you know being okay like i rather put my a work my a effort in other areas of my life um, and save that margin of energy and bandwidth and commitment to other areas of my life. And then certain areas are going to get this B minus C plus work. And, and what's interesting is that, again, nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Um, you know, something as simple as like, I, I really miss doing videos. And I will say this, while I have not been consistent this year, I've posted more videos this year in uh, at, to this point then I did like I think the last time I was posting this video this was like 2018 right and I've had my YouTube channel for a very very long time and so anyway uh, I just wanted to come back do a talking head video I figure I was already dressed <laughs> uh, I went to a brunch with some of my sorority sisters and we were told to wear emerald green so I got the emerald green earrings on um on my eyes this is all Pat McGrath, a little bit of Smashbox, Pat McGrath blush, Pat McGrath on the lips, like 
it's a Pat McGrath face for the most part. Com complexion is a myriad of things. Pat McGrath concealer, Pat McGrath uh, mascara. Listen, anyway, um, so let me know in the comments below. Is there an area of your life that you feel like you need to downgrade your effort to some B minus work? Or is there an area of your life where you feel like you need to decenter that? because other areas aren't getting the attention and the effort that you would like to give them or that they deserve because those areas of life are important to you. And here's the th thing. There are seasons where maybe work does need to be front and center. I remember when I was really trying to get my business off the ground and trying to get consistent revenue and I wanted you know, to hit certain financial milestones that getting my business in order I did want it to be front and center and other things take a backseat temporarily. It's just that I don't know if I ever recalibrated w once I hit those things, what I needed to, you know, what a new normal was going to look like for me. So anyway, wanted to bring back some of my talking head videos. I know a couple people have hit me up on Instagram and they were like, okay, the beauty content is cute. We like it. We miss the talking head videos. So here you go. If you've been one of those people that have messaged me on Instagram who, you know, kind of miss me talking about like self care and um, living life with intention, y'all. And I, I will say this, and I'm not ready to talk about it yet because I haven't really like delved um, super deep into it, but I'm really, really attracted to the idea of slow living. Like when I tell you, I have so many books on it saved in my Amazon card. I've read so many articles about it. I've been watching YouTube videos about it. And the idea of slow living is so appealing to me. And what I'm in the process of working through now is how do I have these ambitions and live a slow life, right? Like, Things that seem to be complete polar opposites. How do I bring them into some kind of harmony for me? What can that look like? Um, because those are equally parts of my personality. So anyway, with that being said, this video is long enough. Um, let me know in the comments. I love to get a dialogue going. Have you had these kind of seasons in your life? Are you in a season? Do you think it's burnout? And maybe it's just that you need a new normal. You need an adjustment. Let me know and I will see you in my next video. Peace.